trying to get an update on the weather because things are certainly changing in this department, right, Annalise? They are, yes. We had sunshine, of course, the past couple of days. We had really mild air, too. For January to see 60s three days in a row, that's pretty impressive. But today, that all changes as a cold front does work its way in. And we're starting to see that move into our far northwest. Out ahead of it, though, a big surge in our cloud cover has happened overnight. That has kept our temperatures way up from yesterday. In fact, in most places, we're waking up to 20 degrees of a warmer start. But as you can see, already looking at some shower activity on this satellite and radar, and that's especially the case if you're located just east of I-35. Mostly light to occasionally moderate showers, nothing that should slow you down too much. But we see this uh, really spreading all the way up to Sulphur Springs, up to Paris, and those are continuing to march to the north and to the northeast. Around the Metroplex, not seeing much activity. It looks like one little light shower in Dallas County. That's about it. But then as you head up to the north around Bonham, you can see some of that light to moderate rain, and that does continue to move up towards Cooper as well. So the general trend is for this activity that's really just east of us now to actually kind of expand. And we're going to be watching still the I-35 corridor in the next couple of hours. This is kind of our focus point as that front moves in activity from DFW and then all the way off to the east. So this is 9 o'clock, and you can see more of us are dealing with the rain certainly by that point. Occasionally some heavier pockets of rain. That will continue to move off to the east as we get into midday and into early this afternoon. 12 o'clock, most of the rain looks to be just east of the I-35 corridor. And then at this point, we're watching for even a few storms embedded in this activity, especially the farther off to the east that you go. So we'll be watching around Mineola, Tyler, Palestine for some potentially stronger winds out of any storm that develops. The end of this event is really tonight. And what we're watching here is nothing widespread. It's just some wraparound moisture as we get into the evening and late night period. We'll be watching off around the Red River. Now, rainfall amounts, uh, most of us are going to stay on the lower side, a quarter to maybe a half inch closer to DFW. You get a little bit farther to the east and certainly seeing some nice amounts of well over an inch. Right now, though, heading out 56 degrees, pretty comfortable for January morning. All of us dealing with those mild numbers for now, but we are expected to see those numbers drop off a bit as we get into the late afternoon period. We will see a cooler and dry setup tomorrow, and then some rain chances are going to be back in the mix on Wednesday or on Sunday, I should say. A cold rain we're talking about still, with just that slight chance of a little bit of snow to mix. But the big change is that drop in our temperatures.